hello everybody, this is Droid Doc. I'm going to be doing a video on installing the Bodhi ROM onto your tablet using multi-ROM. And I personally think Bodhi is a little bit more user-friendly. I actually enjoyed it a little bit better than Ubuntu. Ubuntu is really good, but to me Bodhi was just a little bit easier to get used to and to learn. So uh, first thing we're going to do is I included a download link for the Bodhi Multi-ROM installer zip. It's going to look like this. So you'll want to go ahead and uh, click download. And then it's going to say, sorry, we're unable to scan for viruses. That's okay, let's download anyway. Once you get the file downloaded, it's about 500 megs. So uh, you may want to go ahead and pause it here, let it download, and then go ahead and drag it over to your Nexus 7. I just put mine in my download folder, so you can just put it there as well if you like. Now to boot into Bodhi, we'll be using the same kernel that we used to boot into Ubuntu. So if you haven't downloaded the uh, Kexec kernel yet, you'll need to do that before you install Bodhi so you can actually boot into it. So um, if you're on stock 4.1, you would download the first link here under in the download section of the multi-ROM page. If you're on 4.2, you download this. And if you're on a CM10, you would install this zip. Now, when I say you install the kernel, that's based on whatever your internal ROM is. So if your internal ROM is stock 4.1, that's what you would go, that you would download the first link, stock 4.2, the second link, and so on. So it actually uses the same kernel that Ubuntu uses to boot up. If you already have the kernel, then you're good. All right, let's go ahead and quick boot to recovery. I had it upside down there. Okay, now the way we install Bodhi is going to be different. Usually, when you go to, uh, you can just stay on this screen for now, but I'm just going to show you. Usually, what we would go to advanced and then multi ROM, and we would go to add a ROM. Uh, but they did they did Bodhi a little bit different because it has to be installed differently. What we're going to do is we're going to actually just flash it as a regular zip as if we were replacing the internal ROM. But it's actually going to partition itself. So you don't have to be concerned about anything wiping or anything being erased. It is going to flash it correctly and your internal ROM is going to be saved. Just like if you were installing regularly on multi-ROM. So for this, what we're going to do is we're going to go to install. And we're going to go ahead and select the Bodhi Multi-ROM Installer, big long number, and then the zip. And we're going to go ahead and swipe to confirm the flash. And this doesn't take as long as Ubuntu either. It actually didn't take long at all. Okay, so that was successful. So now first thing we're going to do is press the home button down here at the bottom. And let's go ahead and reboot the system. And this is where you'll see that it has been partitioned. And your internal stock ROM was actually saved. Okay, so we see here, here's the internal, and here's the Bodhi Linux. Let's go ahead and select Bodhi Linux, and let's press boot. So uh, Bodhi's loading up now. Um, you'll have to navigate it just a little bit to get used to it, but it does have a, it has its, uh, an app screen. 
some different things you can do. Here's the app screen. It's got some different uh, buttons you can load up once it actually gets loaded. It's still kind of working on getting loaded. You can change the wallpapers, of course, like anything else. Um, but yeah, just, just get to know Bodhi a little bit. I actually like it. Like I said, it's it's pretty user-friendly, your Wi-Fi and everything. Like it's got a nice little calendar. Uh, Wi-Fi speed tweaks are all going to be up here. And shutting down is uh, the little power button here. And you just power off a reboot. And it goes right back to multi-ROM. And you can boot back into your uh, uh, Jelly Bean, Paranoid Android, AOKP, CM10, whatever you have loaded on uh, your multi-ROM. Okay, guys, so that's it. Uh, this was another request video. I had uh, quite a few ask me to go ahead and do a video on this. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to hit the like button and have a great one. Thanks for watching.